everyone, I'm actually here with the SEX 24s. I have an update for you guys. As you can see, I got a lot of new stuff here. And first, I want to say thank you to Mrs. Rabbit who hooked me up with a Emacs servo. This is going to go in the C10. And huge shout out to Banggear RC who is technically sponsoring this video, being they sent me these 3D printed parts to put on the C10 and try out. So we're going to be decking it out even more. First, we have fender wells with rock lights. Next, we have the tail light housing. Sorry, not on the center there. Then we have what they're calling the chase rack. And that's again for the C10. Two different servo mounts, and this is lucky because uh, Mrs. Rabbit sent that new servo, and I have the tray for it too. So we've got the standard, which you can see there's an opening for the three link, and then they also have a four link version, which doesn't have the opening. So I'll get this installed. I'm not sure if you want me to lengthen the deadbolt and try to do a four link on it, I can put this on there and see. Once the stock servo actually craps out because I'm going to see how long this servo lasts this time. And then last we have the boat side rock sliders for the C10. So that's all going to be cool. Now I have the deadbolt out here to show you guys uh, the story on this one. So first off before I forget. I'll link the uh, eBay store and his website down in the description if you want to get any of this stuff. So don't worry, it'll be down there. Okay, so as for the deadbolt, we all know it fried like three motors last time I had taken it out. And that's not counting the one that was in it, the ECX barrage motor. So I was afraid to hook up a new motor because Horizon Hobby actually sent me these new motors. So what I did is I took the ESC apart, cleaned it really good with a brush basically because there was some stuff that had gotten in there and was probably shortened something out. And I was like, okay, well, I'll try the new motor because they added these, uh, I think they're resistors or some sort of... Uh, chip or something I don't know but whatever they added on here this doesn't have and I had burnt up three of these motors testing it out and that's why Horizon sent me two unfortunately they wouldn't replace all the ones I had on standby but whatever and it runs it hasn't fried the motor I tested it out here for a little bit you will notice I now have the Ascent Buckshot wheels on here. Like I said, I'd put them on here. I was just waiting for these Mickey Thompson Baja claws and testing to make sure the motor didn't blow up or anything. These things did pretty good. There is a defective tire on here. This one has like a really thin spot and really thick on one side, so I can't get it mounted right. So it kind of wobbles, you know, like that while I'm driving. But we'll get this running. I'll get some video of that, and then at the same time, I want to have all this stuff put on here. I'm going to do that off camera, and we'll kind of look at them both at that time. So, I'll talk to you all here in just a second for you guys. I'm going to install this stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all the 3D printed parts from Bangear RC installed. I also have the Emacs servo from Mrs. Rabbit up front. And as you can see, this I think actually looks pretty good. It's the uh, headache rack or as he calls it, the chase rack. And I'm going to pop it open here and you can see inside. I've got my interior. This here soon will be glued up here in the body. I just haven't done it yet. You can see I modified my ESC tray so the battery sits like this now, but it's fine, it works. My buddy did the soldering for me and basically all the rock lights because I'm not good at soldering these little wires. But you can see the rock lights 
are in each of these corners. Now these would normally mount right behind the battery here, but because of the batteries there, uh, we drilled some holes to put the lights a little bit further forward, but you still can't really see the bulbs from inside the fender, which is nice. And then on the back, the wire goes across, links up with this, and they all go up to feed power to the main lights on the front and in the rear here. So that's that on the lights. Now, if you do get this, you gotta know how to solder, hence the reason my buddy did this for me. I'm not good with these little tiny wires. And you also need to go and sand or file this a little bit because it was hitting the body and like pushing it out like that. So we just, a tiny bit of filing right there and it clears. So that's pretty much it. The inner fenders are nice. It does great. And I moved the uh, boulder bars over to the deadbolt because you can't really have these on with these boat side uh, rock sliders which actually do help a ton because of this right here you don't get rocks caught up in there and stuff near as much it just slides off of it which is really handy and you can actually use the slider to turn sharper you jam a rock right here and then turn full in and it'll actually slide it around we didn't do anything to the front axle yet, so it's the same steering. I've gotten kind of used to it. It ain't that bad. It's pretty dang close. So here's Max on that. And there's Max on the deadbolt. As you can see, there's only like a degree, maybe two off there. So I might address that at some point. I just haven't done it yet. Now, let me plug this thing in and show you the lights, at least right here, so you see how this works. So, boom. So, we got the rear light. You already know about the front ones. And then underneath, you got those, which are super bright. So that's pretty much it at the moment. I'm going to skip to night so that I can show you how bright these lights are and how they look at night. So I'm out here at night to show you the lights and you can see the front are nice and bright, but here's the rock lights. And then in the back we got tail lights. Underneath here, they're super bright. And if we pan this way, you can see just how much this lights it up out here. Plenty to see. So I just thought you guys would like to see that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when I post videos. And I'll be posting up the video of this taking on my buddy's stock C10. And also my deadbolt taking on his deadbolt. And we'll see how that goes. We just kind of had fun playing around on his course. It's nothing serious. And yeah, I'll talk to you all then.